Christmas weekend or week and yesterday was actually Christmas so I've kind of been behind on a lot of work because of the holidays and stuff but um, my friend wants to get the tattoo pretty soon he says he already has the money so I gotta start working on it um, this is the design that I have so far this is like the sketch and basically I've been kind of changing around the sketch a little bit and then I shaded it a little bit just to see like where the values were and all that and then I'll show you right now so this is what I've done to it so far I pretty much changed out the skeleton hands I made it gloves instead because I just think it looks a little bit better um, I changed this to have like a little wood like texture and I changed the armband so I'm just going to do like preliminary shading on everything and then I'm going to go back and then redo all the line work because it's like super messy and nothing's like, you know, fixed really nicely. So I'm working on that right now and I'm going to go ahead and get started on it. But if they're LED, they should be relatively low still. Alright, so I'm at my buddy Zach's house and he's getting a tattoo. But he lives in a crack den, so... <laughs> it's gonna be like a punk rock tattoo, so... <laughs> this is my little space I got to work with. We're in a, like, so. shitty-ass recording space. <laughs> And then I'm gonna set you guys up somewhere. Spin this way a little bit. Your hold, your upper. All right. So getting into this tattoo, I was pretty relaxed. I felt pretty good. Uh, my line work was definitely pretty good. I actually ended up finishing the entire line work in about an hour So that wasn't too long. I did have a little hiccup on One of the little cuff sleeve things, but like it's easily fixable once I actually shade everything over it But other than that everything went pretty good um, Yeah, as I was saying the freaking little area that I had to tattoo in was super messy so also I'm like on my knees right here um, tattooing and by the end of that I was just like holy shit my knees are fucking donezos but other than that everything was relatively good um so things that I will be doing next week I should be starting to practice shading on fake skin again 
I'm gonna do this all week. I've actually seen some videos of this guy doing like these one passes that were pretty awesome. And I'm gonna try to fucking practice it. I mean, I doubt I'll get anything like that, especially because I'm gonna be using um, artificial skin. But I'm still gonna try it because how he was doing it, his shading was so fast and the gradients were so smooth. It was amazing. So I'm gonna be practicing all of that. Because I think the longest thing that pretty much, the thing that took me the longest in this entire tattoo was basically just fucking shading. Like, um, I was trying to use a, ma a mag for shading and then I was also trying to use a round shader um, for the smaller bits. But I just need to like pretty much speed up the way that I shade because I'm kind of just like going into it really lightly because I don't want to make anything too dark and then I can't fucking fix it but if I just practice I'll fucking make it way better yeah another thing I will be practicing this week or next week as well is just packing black um, I've seen another technique on how to do it if you're like a beginner at packing black. So I'm going to be trying that out. And i also seen a video of someone packing black with just the liner. And he was doing it like three times faster than I pack black. So I'm going to try that out as well. Um, it looks, yeah, like it looks pretty cool. I don't, I don't think like my shit's going to look like that though. I don't understand how he's doing it so well. He was doing it so quickly, but with practice makes perfect, and that's just how drawing goes, and same with tattooing. So I just gotta keep grinding it out with the practice, and then I'll eventually get better at one point. And also I've seen this ad for these online tattoo courses from a site called Tattoo Do. I'm not exactly sure how well they go over things, but I'm thinking about trying to go through some of the courses and seeing how like it actually helps. I hope it's not really like like helping to draw like stencils and stuff. I'm looking for more of like the actual technique of tattooing and the application of tattooing. But hopefully it's pretty good. They have like people like Chris Chris Garver, which is I mean like I've known him from like Miami Inc. like way back in the day. So that's pretty cool. So I'll see how those courses go. And so this whole little episode was filmed within about two weeks. I kind of like didn't do that much within these two weeks because it was the holidays. It was basically Christmas and New Year's and I was kind of just feeling lazy but I'm gonna get back on the grind hardcore now that it's 2021. I know everyone says that shit but that's what's gonna happen. So expect to see a lot more things from me. And basically, this is the update. All right, so update on what we got so far. This is how the line works coming out. I still got like a few spots to do some touch up on. And after I'm done with that, we can start the shading. All right, so a little update. I got some shading done. I pretty much got the costume and the little frilly thing. So what's left is I gotta do the skull, the hat, and the guitar and gloves. But my shit's running out of juice, so I'm gonna have to do that in a second session. It shouldn't be too long. <laughs> 